When Chef Jean Robert de Cavell took over the kitchen at Cincinnati's famous Maisonette restaurant, he thought he'd stay for a few years. That was exactly 30 years ago, November 1993. But he and his wife Annette put down roots, and they've only grown deeper with Jean Robert's passing. Now a new generation is helping Annette keep his restaurant dreams alive. It's a new day at French Crust in Over the Rhine. <laughs> and not just because it's Saturday morning. Nearly one year since Chef Jean Robert de Cavell passed away, his wife Annette is in charge at the family business, the JR Group. You know, when you're ready to give up there's more strengths and you, you just can't. I mean, it's everybody, yeah keeps embracing and makes you go forward. Strength is coming to Annette from some places she may not have expected. It's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> New young talents are carrying on Jean Robert's mission of treasuring time with friends and family around the table. He started being interested in, in being down there and running the front and then she showed interest and we said perfect. He is Gus Nicholas. She is Alana Askew handpicked by Annette Nacavell to begin the new chapter. Just threw a dart at a map and landed in Ohio and just You stayed. literally threw a dart at a yeah, map? Yes, ma'am. The product of a military family, Chef Alana landed in Jean Robert's kitchens at Restaurant L and Bar a Bouffe before taking over here at French Crust. He taught me how to just uh, appreciate people rather than just, uh, just the food. So um, third generation American, uh, my great grandma came from Greece and then my family has had baking in their history uh, in West Virginia. Gus, a Cincinnati native who grew up making pastries with his grandma at the annual Panayiri Greek Festival. A veteran at several local kitchens, he became the manager at French Crust earlier this year. We can take pieces of menus and create new ones, but still just be celebrating Chef's legacy. We've done to Crust what jean wanted to do all along. This team, thrown together during the pandemic, is leading the comeback at French Crust. They started with the cafe's new deli, where patrons can pick up fresh-made sandwiches, quiche, or a pastry. Just trying to liven it up and bring a little... ...and the polish to make... Every morning, come get your pastries, come get your coffee. And Bear Classic is back. Daily bar lunch trays are a favorite with customers. But for anything to live, it has to evolve. So here on this vibrant corner, once home to German immigrants, some new firepower from Europe is about to elevate the experience here at French Crust and beyond. It's been a roller coaster, and um, I've luckily had support by the staff of the restaurants and then by our friends Chris and Daniel. The Jou. The Jou. Michelin trained chef Daniel Buda is JR Group's new culinary director. He and his business partner Chris O'Connor plan to move here from Germany to move the restaurants forward. Daniel is definitely more modern, I would say, in his approach, but the same effort and the same kind of genius. And Daniel is the one that has between a chocolate here, pastry chef and chef, um, all that know-how. This new approach is just the appetizer. The main course coming next on the JR Group menu is eventually another restaurant. But that's a tasty tale for another time. For this chapter, the focus is on a philosophy left by the man who famously came for dinner and stayed to bring Cincinnati one of life's great pleasures that work continues. Perfection isn't an accident, is what he would like to say. And so if you just strive to do that, I guess. I really hope that the love that we're putting into this place is evident um, and that you're, you know you can come here and experience that when you dine with us. When I filmed this story, some plans were still being finalized, but I can tell you Artworks is planning to paint a mural of Jean Robert this coming summer, location to be determined. And the restaurants are also talking about a guest chef program with a rotation of the many, many culinary talents here who trained in his kitchens and even a few who worked with him in other cities.